Rachel Hayhoe Flint, a pioneer in the world of women's cricket, has died at the age of 77. The former England captain was the first woman elected to the MCC's full committee and became the first female sports presenter on British television. As our correspondent Catherine Downs tells us now, her life and career were marked by a series of notable achievements. Women's cricket as it was, when Rachel Hayhoe Flint was captain of England, just setting out on her campaign for change. Even before her playing days were over, she was a pioneer, organising the first Women's World Cup in 1973, and then in 1976, leading England out to face Australia in the first ever women's match to be played at Lords. I think there was a sort of reticence and nervousness that perhaps the, the women might take over altogether and that there might be rape and pillage of the members in the luncheon intervals or something like that. We might not present an acceptable face of cricket. And I, I actually cried as I walked out onto the pitch, and it was the most incredible feeling. After 12 years as England captain, Rachel Hayhoe Flint went on to become one of the MCC's first female honorary life members, a member of the ECB board, and she was made a baroness. She used her influence and celebrity to give women's cricket a higher public profile. I've got messages coming in from members of the current England women's team. The opportunities they have now as professional sportswomen um, don't, come, don't come by chance. They come through years of devoted, tireless work from people like Rachel. In later life, she became vice president of Wolverhampton Wanderers, pouring her energy into the football club's work in the communities around her hometown. But cricket remained her first love, and the field in which she shone as a talent and as a trailblazer. The tribute today to Rachel Hayhoe Flint, who's died at the age of 77.